Welcome to Golden Handcuffs. Welcome back to season two, baby. Mm -hmm. It's a denim day. We are feeling the blues. Yeah. I'm usually a sweatpants kind of girl. Same. I don't know what haunted me to do jeans today. I just felt like I needed to switch it up. Yeah, well, you look great. Thank you. You look great. Where's your jacket from? <laughs> Where's your jacket from? <laughs> lost and found. <laughs> we have to do a lost and found episode because I've actually found some really good stuff. You know what we in should. In the lost and found. Yeah, you're way more thrifty than I am. We got to write that down. Anyway, what hey, are we talking about today? We're going to tell a few stories um, that have to deal with people getting a little too comfortable on the microphone. A little rowdy. <laughs> A little rowdy, yeah. So, as you guys know, or you may not know, um, most nightclubs, at the DJ booth, there's a microphone that the MC is usually there to hype up the crowd, get people going. Yeah, the hype man. Yeah. That's what I call it. The hype man, yeah. it's the MC, right? I don't, I guess, I don't know. I guess he is like a hype man. Big shows come out, and they get on the mic, and they start calling out things. They're like, yeah, yo, oh, hey, Tuesday, going up and see (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. Wait, what else do they say? Um, Happy birthday, Maria! Uh, yeah. Tip your bartender! Uh, yeah. Hit them with something. More Casamigos! Uh, okay, Ace of Spades! Blah, 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 blah. But it really does get people excited, because I, I like it. I think it's a huge part of, like, getting... Oh, it builds the energy. Totally, yeah. I but, could clearly not be one after what I just delivered right um, now. I feel like... Th- that wasn't your best work, but I could... I feel like you would be good at the mic. Okay. Yeah. Remember your bachelorette speech at my wedding? Oh, girl. Th- I was Your maid of honor? Fuck. I was so nervous. You crushed it. You crushed it. Uh, I crushed it anytime I was alone, and then I got up there, and I was like... Uh, that's so funny. I could tell you were nervous. Yeah. Wait. Do you hear that ASMR? KJ eating her food. I know. Should we, should we give her a second? That's the cutest little noise, though. Yeah. She eats one. She's our time. MC today, guys. <laughs> on the mic, DJ KJ. So wait, hold on, really quick. I'm sorry. ADHD. Yeah. But have you told them everybody's name in your family? I don't think so. Or are you keeping that private? <laughs> I mean, it's nothing. It's I have this weird thing where I like to name things what they are. Like, I have a skeleton that I bring out for Halloween. His name is Bones. I have this gnome I bring out for Christmas, and his name is Gnome. So, like, naturally, my cat, I had to name Kitty. So I call her KJ, Kitty Johnson. And her husband is MJ. Uh-huh, and I'm Now AJ. Amber's AJ. Yeah. The cat's KJ. Yeah. The son, <laughs> MJ's son, is TJ. Yeah. And I asked what she would name her dog. Dog. <laughs> DJ. Yeah, Dog Johnson. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I just like to keep it organized, you know, and I feel like that's a good way to do it. So. A little OCD. <laughs> a little OCD. A little, yeah. But anyway, um, why don't you start with your first microphone story? I have a crazy one, actually, that was all over the media. Okay. And I happened to be there. We had Wiz Khalifa come perform his new album. Anytime I'm his server, like, he makes me feel like I'm his friend, even though Mm -hmm. I'm not. (laughs) Yeah. But he's just a welcoming, cool, calm, collected, like, smoking weed dude. Yeah. Artists are sensitive about their craft, you know? They need their shit to go right. And, like, when they're performing, their DJ's, like, their right-hand guy, also the MC. And Wiz had given them, like, a little USB, and it had everything set up for it. But, you know, during his set sometimes, you have to be, like, pause it here. Like, I'm going to start talking to the crowd. Like, they just have to be ready. It's like a synchronization. Mm -hmm. And I guess they had never worked together before, and things were really not in order. And I guess he's OCD, too, like you. (laughs) And he was like, fuck that. Like, we need to get on the same page here. Like, this isn't going good. I can understand that things can be miscommunicated. Mm -hmm. But Wiz got pissed. I'm surprised he didn't throw the mic. Because have you seen Cardi B throw the mic? Yeah. And 50 Cent? Was it 50 Cent that threw the mic? Yeah, I was at that concert, actually, when he threw the mic. I'm telling you right now, I wish he would have thrown that mic at me. Because I would be be a millionaire right now. That's a good payout. I'm ready for somebody to chuck a mic at my face. Yeah. Anyway... So it was this huge thing on the mic, and, like, he was just, like, going in on them, like, cussing them out, being, like, you're the worst DJ and MC ever. And, like, oh, that, like, makes me so sad because I know they're all being recorded, and this big-ass celebrity is, like... He was calling them bitches. Yeah. He was, like, and that's some embarrassing. bitch-ass... So disrespectful. Plus I can it's... understand his frustration, but also, like, when you're in the limelight, you got to keep your cool. I don't know. I saw the video. I think that was out of pocket. It was very out of pocket, yeah. but um, I think he definitely realized it was because 
He has apologized. Oh, he apologized. Oh, yeah. He's on numerous platforms. He's apologized. Oh, I didn't that know. that was way out of his character. Yeah. And that, you know, he's got love for the guys and that he let his emotions get the best of him. Okay. But also, was the apology because tons of DJs came out of the woodworks and were like, fuck that. I'm not playing Wiz's music. Oh, that was completely out of line. Yeah. When I watched the apology video, though, on, I think it was The Breakfast Club, um, it did seem very genuine. And like I said, I've been his server before. And yeah. he's just a really chill guy. It was actually shocking. There's nothing like something like that going viral from your job that everybody knows. You know what I mean? I like It seems like everything is smoothed over now, but I mean... I knew it would blow over, and I'm happy everything's squashed. Have you ever had any crazy, like, microphone stories? I actually had one. It wasn't with a celebrity, though. It was with a buyer and our, like, lead host. So I actually really like this buyer. He's been nothing but good to us. Um, but you know he was wrong for this one. Like, he knows he was wrong for this. So he was really good friends with our host. And the host would book him. He would come in. We'd have a good time. Like, he would spend eight, nine, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 at a time. Yeah, he's a big buyer. Okay, he's allowed to have the mic. Yeah, he's allowed to have the mic. But um, this, was, this was so wrong. So he came in one night, um, and he was a little bit, like, um, not totally himself. You know, I could tell that he had probably dabbled in a few extra things that he didn't usually dabble in. And he was like, you know, I'm going to drop 30,000, blah, blah, blah. But because it was a it was a busy night, right? It was yeah. packed out. But he was like, only if you clear out this whole section and read this paragraph on the mic. What? Yeah. So he texted our host, which is like his buddy, this paragraph that he wanted him to read. So you agreed to it. On you the were mic. like, sure. We were like, for 30 grand? Hell yeah. Without, without <laughs> reading the paragraph? <laughs> you're like, whatever guess, you say, babe. I guess so. I guess you're right. We should have said like what. But I guess it was, it was just supposed to be like an introduction, like a, like a hype thing, right? But also, what a weird fucking request. Yeah, I mean, it, if you knew this buyer, you would probably understand. Okay. Like, um, you know, he's a little quirky, you know? But um, you gotta love those. But yeah, you got to love those. Everyone's got their thing. But um, so he had him stop the music in the middle of a nightclub. Imagine being in the middle of a nightclub and all the music stops and it's silent, right? (laughs) And our host gets on the mic and is reading off his phone this paragraph that the buyer has sent to him word for word, right? And he wants the DJ section cleared out so that he can have it all to himself. It's one guy, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so he gets on the mic, and he starts reading this paragraph, and it's basically like, sup, everybody, just wanted you to know that is in the house, and he's going to light this bitch up, and we're going to bring out this much. He's going to drop 30K in this bitch, like, whatever, like, you know? He's like, I need this whole section cleared, whatever. And everyone's like, whoa, what the f- Okay. So... Already, like, our host, he's, like, a very sweet kid. He's, like, not showy. He's not the guy to ever be on the microphone. He's very kind of, like, laid back, you know? And so he's already, like, oh, my God. Like, you better fucking spend this 30K. Like, don't leave me hanging, bro, you know? Because also he makes money on that 30K. He gets the 10%. So um, the the, the DJ booth completely clears out. And the buyer goes, that wasn't good enough. And the host... (laughs) I would be so pissed. The host is like, bro, what do you mean? Like, you texted me exactly what you want me to read. I read the whole paragraph on the mic. He goes... Oh, he should have got the money up front. He goes... (laughs) Right. He goes, nah, read it again. (gasps) Yeah. (laughs) And the host is like... He's like, bro. Was, wait, was he not reading it with enough emotion? What, what did he want to do? I guess, I guess. But, like, it sounded, I mean, it was, like, a weird request. It was a weird <laughs> paragraph, you know? So, like, or was he looking straight down, like, I mean, blah, blah, blah. No, it wasn't He's like that. He was on the mic with enough enthusiasm. Like, the fact that he was even turning off the music in the nightclub to read this for a buyer, like, <laughs> come on. Right. Like, we've had buyers come in before. They're like, change the music. I'll drop 50K. They're like, no, fuck you. You know? So, like, the fact that the music stopped already, he was like, it's not good enough. Like, you're going to have to do it again, bro. Blah, blah, blah. And so our host is like, brother, you're killing me here. Like, you're, like, I'm embarrassed, you know, basically. And he's like, if I do this again, you have to spend. Like, do not leave me hanging. 
So he's like, yeah, okay, like, come on, do it. So the buyer is standing at the bottom like this, like, watching him, like, arms crossed, like, listening to the paragraph, you know, and his, like, face kind of goes like this, you know. And we're just like, oh, my God. And he gets on the mic again. That's crazy. Turns the music off again. So now everybody else in the club is like, what the fuck, you know? And the bottle girls and the TSAs were just, like, praying, like, please, like, let this go through, you know? Because, like, we're embarrassed for our guy because, like, he's our friend, you know, like, the host. So, so would you have done it? Gotten on the mic for that? Like, if I would have needed would... a down payment. <laughs> okay, okay. I would have needed like a guarantee, like give me the money and I'll do what you want me to do. You know, right? <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, so he gets on the mic again, reads the same paragraph again, and he's like, "Nah, brother, it's not going to work out. That wasn't good enough. Leaves." What? And so everybody is just like, "Damn," because like. He was embarrassed. That's awful. Yeah, he was super embarrassed. and Because that was his friend, too, that, like, b- made him do that, you know? And, like, obviously we all missed out on making all that money and, like, you know, the whole nine. And now the DJ booth is cleared out and the people left because they were pissed off. They're like, you guys just moved us all here for, like, some guy that was supposed to spend all this money. He didn't spend a dime. And, like, what are we, chopped liver? So they were like, fuck you guys. And they never came back. What a weirdo. Yeah. It broke my heart because he came back into the kitchen, the host, and he was like, I'm so sorry, guys. I really tried. And I was like, do not Wait, apologize. that is actually so sad. I know. Because he was really trying to he was really trying to make us all money, you know? But the fact that the buyer was just down there staring at him, critiquing him. Critiquing him. Arms crossed and everything. I was like, oh, Lord. That's wild. <laughs> critiquing him is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. He should have he got that down payment. He should have got the down payment. Mm-hmm. He was he wrong for that. I also have another microphone story completely different than that. (laughs) Um, It's actually kind of tragic. But uh, it was later in the evening. It was at least like 1 in the morning. I can't really remember. But there was the MC and the DJ on stage, right? Right. And they were doing their thing, blah, blah, blah. It's a hip-hop nightclub. Everything is going good. Then all of a sudden, you kind of hear this, and DJ and the MC man stop. Everything stops. And he, like, pulls the plug or whatever, and he's, like, like complete silence? Complete, yeah. Okay. He, he was, like, he's, like, I'm so sorry, guys. I got to go. My homie just got shot. Runs what? off the stage. Yeah. And so then the other, whoever else was there, maybe there was another DJ or whatever, like, got the music back going or whatever. And we had also wow. started, like, I guess somebody caught wind that it was one of the Migos. So we were all, like, what the fuck? The Migos just got shot. Like, blah, blah, blah. And um, so we were like trying to figure out who it was, who it was, and we knew Did that he it die? was. Did Yeah. Take off from the Migos. You didn't know he got murdered? Or not murdered, but like. I don't really know the Migos that well. I guess they were just like playing dice or something like that, and one guy got mad and shot him or, or something. Something stupid like that. Yeah, they were like gambling or whatever. But um, yeah, so the whole rest of the night, we were all like, what the fuck? Because he literally got off the, on the mic. He's like, I'm so sorry, I gotta go. Blah, blah, my homie just got shot. And ran off the wow. stage. And, uh, yeah. So then the rest of the night, we were, like, Googling. We were checking Twitter and all, everything that we could get our hands on to see which one it was. And then we found out that it was Takeoff and that he was dead. And we were all just like, what? He's dead? You know? Was everybody in the crowd, like, everybody was homie? Well, then it, it, it pretty quickly, everyone found out that it was one of the Migos, but they didn't know if it was Quavo or if it was Takeoff. Who are the Migos? Quavo, Takeoff, and Offset? Yeah. So now there's, yeah, now there's only two of them. Damn crazy that's some insane shit that happens on the mic oh yeah there's something about experiencing something and hearing something with a crowd of people Mm -hmm. that's like different than just like you know seeing it like if you were just for example me watching the video of the Wiz Khalifa and Tron is different than you being there and everyone else being like what the fuck just happened I know yeah we were all kind of like what was that like yeah why the fuck did he go off on him like that yeah have you ever gotten on the mic Uh, no, uh, uh-uh. I don't think I would be good on the mic. Anything other than this mic. <laughs> right, right. All right, guys. Well, those are our microphone stories. DJ booth debacles. Yeah. Ooh, DJ <laughs> booth debacles. Yeah. I like that <laughs> title. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Uh-huh. Please let us know if y'all have any crazy MC hype man DJ stories because we want to hear them. Because mm-hmm. shit goes down on that mic, baby. It does. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Like, subscribe, follow, do all the things. And we will see you next week on the one and only Nightlife Podcast. The Golden Handcuffs. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Should that be our thing? Wait. (laughs) 
signing off.